Hi Jurassic Cuties, Wendy here. Today we're going to draw the Twitter logo, so let's get started. To draw this Twitter logo, I'm going to be starting with a blue colored pencil today, only because it's going to be easier for me to color in the square that the bird is in. So I'm going to start with the beak area. So I'm just going to come about right here and I'm just going to come out with a curve and we're starting the top of the beak and then we're going to come down and the beak is open so and I just broke my color pencil because I was pushing too hard <laughs> okay I need to sharpen this okay but that's the basic beak um, drawing right there and let me sharpen my pencil Okay, and I'm back <laughs> with a nuke, with a sharpened color pencil. So lesson learned, don't sharpen it too uh, pointy and don't press too hard. <laughs> okay, so for now that we have the beak in, I'm gonna come where I started right here and I'm just gonna basically draw a curve that comes down for the head. So I'm drawing kind of small only because we're doing this freehand, so it's just a lot easier to draw when it's smaller. And I'm just, it's not gonna be perfect or exact. We just wanna get a basic idea of this bird. So about there we have that curve. And then from there, we're gonna imagine this curve coming down. And so about right here, I'm gonna to start to curve for the body. So then from there, we're gonna stop about right there. We're gonna to start to draw the wing. Let's come up. So let's see here. So I know when I go up, this curve, the tip of the wing is not going to really pass the head. So I'm just gonna be aware of that when I bring this curve up. So let's say, how about right here, ballpark. About right there. And then I'm gonna to start to draw one, two, three curves. So the first one is a little bit longer. I'm just gonna bring this down. And I'm gonna come out. And another one. And let's see here, another one, smaller ones come out again. And this whole time we're just imagining this curve as it comes down. So that's our goal. We just wanna still maintain this curve. Okay, so then from there, we're going to come out right here and draw another curve. So this is gonna be the beginning of the tail. About right there, it's gonna pass the wing a little bit. And then from there, we can go ahead and just connect back. Just make this darker, so just go ahead and connect back to the curve we made right here. Okay, so there, that's the basic shape for our bird. And because we're gonna be coloring in this part, the solid blue, you can always come in and uh, do some adjustments really easily. Okay, so now that we have the bird in, let's draw the rounded off square that's around it. So I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna start on this side first. And about in this area, kind of like where the head and the wing is, close to it, I'm gonna start off with a straight line. And then I'm gonna to come to the other side, just like this side, so close to the beak, and we're gonna draw another straight line. So we're just trying our best here to make it the same as the other side. So we have the two, just make it more level. From there, let's draw the top. So we're gonna come to the top. Uh, well, you know what, I'm gonna draw my bottom first. It's a little bit easier for me to see. So just give it a little bit space, imagining this as a square. So about right here. Let's draw another line. So I'm just surrounding the bird. And I'm gonna go straight up. So we've created this square. So I'll say about right here. Looking at my camera, make sure it's about a square and go straight across, just like this one. And like I said, we're doing this 
freehand. So it's um, if you want it to be really perfect, you definitely get a ruler. Okay, so now that we have these four lines in, let's come in here and we're going to just connect it. So let's see, it's easier for my hand. I'm just gonna come right here in the corner and connect. From there, I'm gonna connect this corner. So same exact thing, just round off the corner and come back down. And same thing here. And one more. There, approximate. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much it, except now I'm just gonna go in and color it in and make any kind of adjustments um, after I fill it all in. So now that I'm pretty much done with the coloring, I can see right here that this part is a little too flat. So I'm just gonna come in here and round this corner off to make it a little bit smoother. So like I said, because this part right here is all solid blue, it's a lot easier to come in here and fix any angles or curves that you need to. So maybe like right here, make it a little bit smoother and Dip this in a tiny bit more. So they're all done. As you can see, I did go back into the uh, square to color it a little bit more solid. And then I made some adjustments like right here on the head. I noticed it was just too round. I brought it in a little bit so it looks a little bit better. But um, that is pretty much it. And I hope I really helped you draw this Twitter logo. And um, thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Draw So Cute videos. See you later.